Hi there, students. Earworm, a, a noun. So, have you ever had that situation where you've got a song or a piece of music or a jingle from your advertisement that's stuck in your head and it keeps coming back again and again and again to your head? Well, this is an earworm. More technically, involuntary musical imagery. Now, this is something that happens to almost all of us from time to time. Now, the word is a calc. It's a direct translation of a German word uh, used to describe this phenomenon. And the German word originally means earwig. Now, an earwig is a little creature and for many years, from the Middle Ages up until the mid-19th century, people used to believe that when you were asleep, an earwig would climb into your ear and then it would start to eat your brain. So this is, I suppose, very similar to what the music actually does. It makes its way into our, uh, through our ears into our brain and then it starts to eat our mind because normally you know that the bit of music that you remember that keeps coming back that you get into your head it's usually banal it's a pretty stupid piece of music it's embarrassing yeah it's not the sort of thing you'd really want to, to be heard singing sometimes it could be but it's not usual okay so that is an earworm it's very common with advertising jingles and that's why advertisers use it um this word first came into english in 1980 or in the early 80s so it's quite a recent word um maybe it came to the forefront when stephen king used it so, an earworm. What earworms do you have in your head at the moment? So, do you hear that earworm in your mind every morning when you wake up? Yeah, ear earworms can be pretty annoying. So, next question, formality. I think I would probably give this word neutral formality. Um, it describes a phenomenon that we always that is always happening to us so I think it's uh, neutral formality and completely flexible and then like I said this word earworm came from the German word offworm which actually means earwig okay so an earwig yeah an earworm and that's where the idea comes from. So, why don't you comment in the comment section about earworms that you've had in the past. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Earworm.